So step three in buying a home in South Florida is getting pre-approved for a mortgage. This is one of the most important steps you can take and it's really important to do it upfront. It's gonna save you hours and hours of time and make sure that when you do find the right house, you're almost guaranteed to get it. So let's go over why that is so important and how we do this. So let's first talk about a pre-approval versus a pre-qualification. So you can go into any of the big banks and walk in and give them your information and they're gonna check your credit and they're gonna say, okay, based on your credit score and what you tell us you make and what you, you know, you're you telling us your debts are, you're pre-qualified for X, but they're not going in depth on what are your payments gonna be? What are your closing costs gonna be? So those are the things that you really can only get by getting a full pre-approval. So when we recommend you to our mortgage lender, what they do, they're checking all of the documents that they're gonna to need to get a mortgage upfront and they're making sure they're checking your tax returns, your bank statements, your pay stubs, uh, all that kind of stuff. You're gonna need that anyway when it comes time to buy a house. You might as well get it done up front so there's no surprises or hiccups along the way after you found the right house. You wanna make sure that that process is as smooth as possible. A good lender is also gonna be able to tell you, okay, you might be approved for 500,000, but based on where you wanna spend every month, what you want your monthly payments to be, you should be looking at closer to 450 or even 400. Or on the other end, you might, be, have, you might have thought that you wanna only spend 400, but your monthly payments that you're comfortable at could go as high as 500 or 550. So you wanna make sure you're not wasting time looking at properties that either don't meet your budget or you know, maybe you can find a house that's way, way nicer and it's still within a comfortable payment for you. So it's really important to do this upfront so you don't waste time while looking. When you work with the lender who we recommend, they're gonna put you through underwriting upfront. So what this means is they're gonna run your mortgage as if you're already under contract. So they're gonna do everything they need to do as if you found the right house and they're rushing you to closing and they're gonna do that upfront. The reason why we encourage that is when you do find the right house, you're able to write a much, much stronger offer. So you can write an offer almost as good as cash. When you do that, you're gonna be able to get, you're gonna offer the seller better terms. So you're likely gonna be able to get a slightly better price. Or if there's a multiple offer situation, some sort of bidding war, you have a much better chance at getting it because you've gone through all the extra hurdles up front. So it's really, really important to get your pre-approval done by a good, reputable lender. Someone who's local in the area, knows Florida laws, is familiar with the homes and the neighborhoods in South Florida so that you're in the best of hands. Here's some things to be careful of. There's a lot of online lenders who advertise these great teaser rates, but the company is based out of California or somewhere on a big time difference. So when it comes down to crunch time, you know, there's a big delay on when they can get you the documents. So if they get you the documents three o'clock California time, title companies in South Florida are already closed and you might have a big problem. Another thing to look out for is the interest rates. So a lot of lenders offer teaser rates online where they'll say, okay, we can get you a mortgage for 3%, but you don't read the fine print. And in the fine print, it says, that's with you paying, you know, one point, two points on your mortgage. So your closing costs and your actual coming out of pocket money are gonna be much higher. So you wanna be on the lookout for that. If you need the recommendation of a really good, reputable local lender, I can recommend you the person who did my personal mortgage. They are fantastic. We work with them every single day and they will never steer you wrong. So that's getting pre-approved for a mortgage. Make sure you stay tuned for our next video.